Hello and welcome. My name is Angie Holden and I'm the blogger behind The Country Chic Cottage. Today we're going to make sublimation air fresheners and I have four different sizes and shapes to show you how to sublimate on them. So this is just another sublimation blank that you can use with your sublimation printer or even infusible ink to make crafts for yourself or to gift to family and friends. So if you didn't know that you could make your own car air freshener, well, you can. And you can put any image you would like on it. I chose a few different ones, but you can say like put your kid's picture on them or a picture of your friend's children and give that air freshener to your friend. So the possibilities are really endless with this project. Now, I will be going over the supplies that I'm gonna use, but if you wanted to make like the exact air fresheners I did with the exact same prints, I will link to those as well. So to find supplies as well as files, you'll find those in the description below the video. If you're on computer, scroll down, click show more. If you're on mobile, click the arrow to expand the description or swipe up on the video depending on how you're watching. So now let's take a look at the supplies you're gonna need to make sublimation air fresheners. You will need sublimation air fresheners. I got a pack off Amazon. It comes with four different sizes, some bags. So you do need to put them in an airtight bag once you add the scent to keep the scent until you're ready to use it. And then it also came with these elastic cords. Now you could use ribbon instead of this, whatever. And they do come with holes in them. They're like a felt, maybe a stiff felt. Um, and they're cut to size with the holes already in them. So they came out of the package just like this. Then I'm gonna use my Easy Press and Easy Press Mat, heat resistant tape, protective paper, and a lint roller. And then you will need something to make the air freshener smell. I'm gonna use essential oils. You could use your favorite cologne, your favorite perfume, something like that. You only need a little bit for each air freshener. And then you'll need sublimation prints. So this is sublimation ink printed on a sublimation printer on sublimation paper, and the designs are mirrored. So I have four different designs. I'm gonna make four different air fresheners. So let's take a look at how to make these. I have my Easy Press heating up to 385 degrees and I'm gonna try 60 seconds. The first thing you wanna do is clean the sublimation blank well. So we always do this to remove any lint or anything. And then we'll locate the print. So this one I'm going to sublimate both sides one at a time. So I'm gonna sublimate the first side and then peel that off, add the print, sublimate the second. So I'm just gonna cut this print to roughly the size and you can get rid of a lot of this excess if you like, but leave some overhang. So I have a little bit of overhang all the way around. And go ahead and tape to the back of the air freshener and across to the paper. And I'm gonna do it in like three places here. I do find this is the best way to tape the air freshener. And then we're just gonna use a small piece of protective paper and we want that on both sides. So I'm just gonna fold it over. And as you can see, I'll have protective paper on the front as well as the back. Then we'll just add this entire thing to the Easy Press mat. Sublimation print side up. Make sure everything's covered. And then I'm gonna press 385, 60 seconds. And just a light to medium pressure. So just hold down on the Easy Press. And we'll just remove the Easy Press and really quickly just remove this print from the air freshener. You can see I have my cute flamingo on there. And then you don't want these to be like all wavy from the heat. So put it on a, um, just a hard surface and put something heavy on top. Or if it's cool enough, and it will be after just a few seconds, just press down with your hand. So we're just trying to get it flat and it'll only take a few seconds to cool. And that, just make sure it stays as flat as possible. You could put it under a book, whatever. You just wanna make sure it's as flat as possible. Now we need to do the other side. So we will add the sublimation print to the other side in the same way. So I'm gonna put it onto the print, just kind of trim around it a little bit. And then we'll go ahead and add the heat resistant tape once again across the back and just grabbing that paper there and I have an extra piece so I'm just gonna put it on here. And then new piece of protective paper. So the protective paper from last time did get some sublimation ink on it so I would not wanna use that again. And again, I wanna cover both sides. I'll give my easy press mat back. Put it sublimation print side up. Make sure everything's covered. And again, we're gonna press 385, 60 seconds. 
All right, and then again, we'll remove super quickly. Just ditch our mat here, remove this off. And you can use heat resistant gloves here. It's not that hot, but it is pretty warm. Then you can see the flamingo on the opposite side did not really fade. This time I'm just going to use this mat. So this is a heat resistant mat, so it won't go through to my hand and just press down a couple of seconds while it just cools off under the mat held flat. And now we have a double sided sublimation air freshener. So I am going to let's go walk through making one more of these and then we'll walk through finishing them and I'll show you some more that I've made. So with a print like this one, so I just cut like a strip off of this print. It might be easier to wrap both sides. So this print fits almost exactly around here when I fold the print over. So I'm going to put it on there all at once, tape it down, press from one side, press from the other side, and then remove everything and hold it flat. So we're gonna trim that print up some add the air freshener that I went rolled, fold it over. I just want to make sure that you can't see any of that air freshener. And then I just kind of like fold the print and then tape the print to itself. So you don't want any of the tape to be on the air freshener. So I just tape around and just kind of keep it tight. You do want to trim the print as close as possible. So I would probably move it over, tape that side. And then on this side, trim a little excess off and be careful because like you could cut these air fresheners. Like I said, they're just felt. So kind of trim that a little closer Add two more pieces of tape, and this one is ready to press. So I just added protective paper to both sides, and this time it doesn't matter which side you do first, so we'll press the first side. And just lift that up, flip, press the other side. Then when that's done, we'll just remove that easy press mat, and you might need like some scissors just to cut the tape open and then we'll just get out the air freshener and you can see it did great on both sides and again we'll just put it under there and let it cool while applying some pressure. So now that one is cool as well so let's take a look at assembling these and adding fragrance. So here are the four air fresheners I made. So the Flamingo version, both sides. Beach, both sides. A floral, both sides. And then that final one with just like the geometric pattern. So all of these I have sublimated on both sides. They all turned out great. First time I've ever sublimated on two air fresheners and they look amazing. So now let's add some fragrance. You can literally add any fragrance you want. Essential oils is a good choice. However, you would wanna make sure they're clear. So this one has a slight yellow tint to it. So I am going to put it on this one where probably the pattern would not matter. So I'm just gonna do a slight dot. All right, so I did a slight dot on this air freshener. If you can tell right there, that's where I put it. Because that essential oil is yellow, it would show up on the blank itself. So I would try several different essential oils to find a clear one, or you can dilute them with water in a spray bottle and spray the entire air freshener. So I found a few clear oils that I like the scent of. So I'm just gonna put them one dot in each of four corners. Then you want to immediately assemble them and put them in the bag to hold the scent, unless you're gonna use them right away like in a car, but I just add the string, again, you could use ribbon if you would like, and then immediately drop them in the bag and go ahead and seal the bag up. And this will also intensify the fragrance so it'll spread to the entire air freshener. 
So now it's sealed up and ready to give. So now that you've seen just how easy this is, go ahead and pick up a pack of the air fresheners. So you get a huge pack for a really low price. This is also a good way to like test your sublimation and get something fun out of it. So pick up a pack of the sublimation air fresheners. You can use them to test your colors and then get, you know, a cute flamingo out of it if you're testing your pinks and hang this in your car with the smell, whatever smell you want. So this is a great way to make customized air fresheners. Like if you are sensitive to certain smells, you're adding your own smells to these. And you can add as much or as little as you would like. So I added four drops to each, maybe a little bit strong for some people. So you might wanna start with like one to two drops of essential oil, especially if you're sensitive to smells. It will intensify when it's in your car, closed up in the car, heat of summer, that type of thing. So do be aware of that when you are adding the fragrance. And you can reapply the fragrance to these. So let's say after a couple months, it is not smelling as good in your car, just take it out, add the essential oil again, put the air freshener back in your car, or with how easy these are, just make another one <laughs> because you can have flowers or a flamingo depending on your mood for the day. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions about making sublimation air fresheners, drop down in the comment section, ask away. If you like this video, if it helped you, give us a thumbs up. If you haven't already, head on over to our YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button. We have videos just like this one every single week, and trust me, you don't wanna miss any of those. Thank you all so much for joining me today and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.